welcome to this video and today I will show you some of the mechanical valves so here we have got so many valves first of all the valve is a device where we try to control or regulate the flow of a fluid in this case water so or we want to stop the flow of the fluid so for example this is a regular tap so here by rotating this this knob actually you are closing the valve and therefore you can stop the flow of the water so for example here there are two uh, inlets so one is for cold water another is for hot water and we can just regulate the flow of the fluid so this is called valve so I will show you some of the valves here first of all let's see this one this is our regular tap water tap so here by turning this clockwise we will stop the valve by turning anti-clockwise we can open it so here let's open this one and you can see this inside it has got a spindle and connected to spindle is the valve so this is the valve this is made of rubber here but uh, for bigger size valves these are also made of brass or gun metal and here you can see that there is a seat here where this valve will sit so basically water will come from this inlet here and it will come through the valve here so valve when va valve is closed then water cannot come in when valve is open then water will come in and then pass through this one so this is the valve and the spindle and this is controlled by here so this spindle is actually connected to this part and then by tightening basically what we are doing is we are closing the valve and by unscrewing it we are opening the valve so this is an example of mechanical valve for water and there are many t other types of industrial valves for example this one this is a gate valve so here by turning this this the, the inlet the port will actually close so this is a, like a gate which closes and opens so again this also is used for water or any kind of fluid then we have got this one which is a ball valve so here in this case you can see that inside there is something like a ball and by turning this you are closing the the passage and by turning this way we orient the, the ball the hole in the ball to this line the passage line so this can be the inlet and this can be the outlet so this is another type of valve here and this is a um, one-way um, valve so in this case the valve you can see it's inside here and when the fluid is flowing from this direction the valve will close okay. so valve will not flow so this will work on its own pressure and when the fluid is flowing from this direction then the valve will open so that means this will allow only one way flow of the water so this is another type similarly some other types of gate valve for example this is for gases um, so here you can see the passage is very very uh, thin and this is used for gas this is called butterfly valve so again also this also works on the same principle there is a spherical um, valve which turns and closes the passage and on this way this opens the passage this one is a kind of uh, this is a safety valve so here you see there is inlet here and the fluid or in this case basically steam will pass through here so, and this 
spring loaded. It is a spring loaded. So this spring basically pushes the valve and closes the valve. But when the pressure is too high on this side, inlet side, then the, because of the pressure, the valve will open by pressing the spring and steam will be released and the pressure will be released. So this is a safety valve which is used for mainly for boilers, for steam boilers. So this is also a, a valve for gases. So basically the gas will flow out of here and the valve is inside here. This uh, again you can see this is a water tap and here the valve is here. So this is the valve through which the water is regulated here. So this spindle basically will come up when we turn this one. So basically this is a pressure type. So here uh, when we press it and there will be a spring here. So spring will basically push the spindle back into its position. And in the process this is rubber. So this rubber will slide against the uh, metal part here and because of friction it will get damped so it will uh, it will pass slowly so there will be some time lag so that is how it works so when we press it it takes few seconds for this spindle to go back to its original place so during that few seconds the water will flow and once it goes back to its position then uh, the the uh, the valve actually closes so this is how it works. So again you can see this as well. So this is all about many of the mechanical valves. Thank you very much for watching this video.